Now, let's turn to a couple of other stories uh, making the headlines here because uh, the UN Security Council will meet on Thursday for an emergency session on Syria following clashes between the Turkish and Syrian military. It comes as local media reported that a convoy of Turkish vehicles was headed to northwestern Syria on Wednesday after Turkey's President Erdogan threatened to drive back Syrian troops in Idlib unless they withdrew by the end of the month. Now, nearly 600,000 people have been displaced in the Idlib region in the past two months. 80% of them are women and children. Now, as promised, let's return to those scenes there in Istanbul, this plane that has uh, overshot the runway and uh, that. Uh, just some of the latest uh, live pictures coming into us and exactly as we were describing earlier with the broken fuselage of that plane and uh, the emergency services still working on it. Iram Koka from our Turkish services uh, here with me again. And uh, Iram, uh, tell me the latest uh, lines that you are hearing on this in terms of the information coming from the Turkish authorities. Uh, the governor of Istanbul uh, just recently said there were 171 passengers on board and six crew members. And so far, at least 21 people uh, were hospitalized uh, to, to receive treatment. So initial reports were that there were no casualties, but that has gone up to 21 people in hospital. And, Do we and the rescue works are still underway, so they're still searching for any well, survivors. Well, that's exactly what I was going to ask you. Is the thought that all of the passengers and crew are now off this plane, or, or is the work still going on? Uh, as we can see from the live footage, the rescue works are still underway and they are still searching for any survivors or any casualties that may come. And uh, what we know so far is uh, the investigation is underway, the rescue works are underway and these are the initial reports and we can, uh, there might be um, new information in the coming hours. Let's rewind a little because we can see that work uh, going on. Uh, just take me through, where was this plane uh, going to and from? Mm -hmm. So this plane, uh, it's operated by a low-cost airliner uh, and it was flying from Izmir, the thir third largest city in Turkey, to Istanbul. And this accident actually happened while landing. Uh, what we know so far is, uh, according to eyewitnesses, that the plane landed and then it skid off runway and uh, it starts sliding towards it down the hill and hit a wall that was uh, surrounding the airport so at that moment it seems like it divided into three parts and uh, we saw in the initial images we saw people were some some of the survivors were leaving the plane on foot they were obviously uh, shaken of what just happened and right away ambulance and uh, medics were uh, dispatched to the area and the rescue works are still underway. So it actually ha has ended up hitting the perimeter wall, so that is a long way in terms of overshooting the runway. What were weather conditions like, uh, do we know, in those moments leading up to uh, the skid? Uh, there have been, uh, I mean, the Turkish Met Office has, have been warning about the conditions uh, were getting worse as of today, uh, which is started with heavy rain and uh, some gust winds, uh, which tomorrow will turn into uh, snow in Istanbul. So what we know is it's raining heavily uh, as we speak and there's strong winds and uh, it seems like or at least the initially what the aviation experts are saying uh, the dire weather conditions may have played a part in this accident. And uh, just looking at some of the latest details coming into us because a spokesman for Pegasus Airlines has confirmed this crash, uh, haven't provided any further details. Istanbul's governor has been speaking, the transport minister mm -hmm. speaking, all roughly saying the same things in terms of the numbers you've been giving to us. Uh, but it is clear that that operation is still ongoing. Yes, yes. Uh, <clears throat> the operation is still underway. As I said, these are the initial numbers. And it just happened, I think, in less than an hour ago or so. So it's quite uh, new. Uh, it's, a, it's a developing story. And by looking at the uh, plane itself, it seems like uh, pretty damaged by this accident. And, and do we know what type of plane is actually involved in, in this crash? We see the, the debris there, the wreckage there. Do we know what type of plane this is? We have no confirmed information about that. Uh, there are some conflicting reports, uh, so uh, we still, we don't have any official word on what type of 
plane we are talking about. Uh, and this is in Istanbul. Yes. Uh, I'm reading here that uh, is... obviously all flights to this airport yes. now being diverted to the main international yes. airport. So this is not the main international airport where this incident has happened? No, it's not. This is the second airport in Istanbul. It's located on the Asian side. And uh, it's, uh, both domestic and international flights are taking part from this uh, airport. And as you mentioned, now it is closed because of this ac accident. And most of the planes are diverted to the newly opened Istanbul airport on the European side in northern uh, Istanbul. And some of them are reported, reported to be diverted to other uh, nearby airports. And certainly from these pictures, uh, no sign of a fire, but uh, I'm reading here, and you yep. were touching upon yep. it, there are uh, some early reports that uh, there was uh, part of the plane that, that did catch fire initially. Yes, uh, right, after the, um, right after it crashed to the wall, uh, there are some uh, eyewitness videos showing that the, the, the plane actually caught fire, and uh, it was, it's raining probably, most likely it's put off by rain or it was immediately uh, intervened to, to stop uh, to, to stop the fire going on but it's important to remember that this this plane just landed so very likely that its full tank was emptier than uh, than it was during takeoff and the transport minister called this a rough landing uh, mm -hmm. and uh, but they have been very keen all of the authorities uh, to uh, underline the fact that there are no fatalities being reported in this incident as you were saying a number of people uh, hurt have been taken to hospital but uh, currently no reports of any fatalities no <clears throat> not not at, at, at this moment and as we can see the rescue works are still underway uh, there are some uh, trying to remove some parts of the fuselage there and also we see the front part of uh, the, it seems like the main damage happened in the fr front part of the uh, aircraft and, and you, you can just see from the picture it's been pretty static for, for the last little while as we've been talking but uh, it's worth just underlining because uh, you can see just the, the tail of the aircraft right at the top of the shot mm -hmm. and, and all of the reports and you can just about see it from those pictures that is broken off if you look further back you can actually see one of the engines and uh, the still to the left of the screen you can see the fire crews damping down just making sure that uh, uh, there are no chances of that fire uh, re-emerging but uh, all of those efforts are going on but uh, the front there of the plane uh, uh, with uh, very clearly has broken away from uh, the, the cockpit section as well and we were seeing pictures uh, of the front of the plane and that's where the most recent activity was with the, the emergency services trying to get there they were passing stretchers so only a few moments ago uh, a thought that uh, perhaps there were still uh, people on board the front of the plane but to this middle section as you see the foam again being sprayed onto it uh, that looks pretty clear it looks pretty calm there but uh, there you see uh, uh, part of this plane, uh, as uh, we were hearing there from Irem, it skidded off the runway, it hit the perimeter wall, it broke into three, and uh, as we were hearing there, 171 passengers on board, also six crew, and uh, the latest reports uh, from the Turkish authorities, from the transport minister, from the governor, saying that 21 people have been taken to hospital injured but they are being treated but again as i was saying before there are no reports of any fatalities so those the live pictures coming to us from istanbul we're back with more on that we're back with more on the day's headlines here in a moment or two don't go away Also on global, a passenger plane breaks apart after overshooting a runway in Istanbul. Officials say there are up to 52 injuries. A recovery operation remains underway. This is Global.
Hello and welcome back to the programme. Let's go straight back to Turkey, straight back to Istanbul and uh, those pictures we were showing you from the airport after this uh, plane has overshot. Let me just uh, bring up the live pictures because uh, those rescue operations are still going on and the emergency services uh, crowded around the three parts of this passenger plane that uh, has uh, been left at the end of uh, the runway uh, after it hit the perimeter wall. You can see there in the foreground uh, the wall and uh, the plane at the middle section uh, there where they've been uh, pouring more and more foam over the last few minutes. There were reports earlier on of a fire. You can see the tail section uh, broken away and uh, you can't see in that particular shot uh, the front, the cockpit uh, section of the plane. But there are more details uh, just coming in to us uh, in the last few minutes as we continue to watch these pictures because uh, the first uh, word in terms of the plane itself it was a Boeing 737 operated by the low-cost Turkish airliner Pegasus Airlines and uh, the number of people injured uh, well Istanbul's governor has been talking in the last uh, few minutes and updating the figures uh, we were telling you about so let me bring in Iram Koka from the BBC's Turkish services that uh, is monitoring all of this for us and let's start with those uh, injury figures because that has been updated and it has risen. Yes, uh, so far at least 52 people injured, uh, still no word on fatalities but apparently the rescue works are still underway and uh, there were uh, 177 uh, people on board including six crew members and so far uh, at least 52 uh, injured and hospitalized as we speak. And just looking as the shot changes to a, a closer shot, we can see at different sections mm -hmm. of this plane the emergency services still there with stretchers. So it is, it is unclear looking uh, at the pictures whether every single person on board the plane, uh, passenger and crew, uh, are all out. But uh, we wait for more information on that but there you see with the floodlights uh, on the middle section of the plane uh, a breakdown of the figures because uh, again Turkish media reporting that among the passengers uh, there were 12 children yes uh, well, we still have no uh, official uh, word on how many children or the details of the passengers uh, but this is what the Turkish media have been reporting at the moment uh, right after the uh, crash happened, uh, the initial footage show some passengers were on foot and leaving the air aircraft and most of them were uh, leaving the aircraft from the middle and the back uh, sections of the, f of the plane itself. But from the footages as we watch them, it seems like there are some uh, serious damages in the front part of the uh, of the uh, of the aircraft and it seems like this is where the rescue workers are are focusing their uh, efforts, uh, maybe looking underneath the fuselage to see whether there are any survivors or not. And it seems like now we can say it's, it's a Boeing 737 uh, uh, type aircraft operated by low cost carrier Pegasus. And tell me more about that airline, tell me more about this airport, because this is not the main airport in Istanbul, is it? No, it's not. Uh, this is the second largest airport in Istanbul, and it is on the Asian side. And uh, mostly domestic flights uh, are, are, are uh, carried out from here, some international flights as well. Uh, and the Pegasus airline, as I said, is a low-cost carrier. Uh, it's, uh, it's flying pretty much uh, most of the major cities in, in Turkey and some major cities in Europe as well. Uh, and this flight, uh, the one that uh, crashed in, in landing, it was flying from Izmir. It is the third largest city in Turkey, from Istanbul, uh, Sabiha Gökçen Airport, and uh, and the crash uh, happened during the landing. So uh, it's important to mention here. Maybe its uh, its fuel tank was most likely to be empty, 
and that avoids the risk of any expo uh, There were those initial weapon. reports of uh, a fire and you saw those yes. fire crews still damping the plane down but that is pretty much standard procedure in any uh, event like this. Uh, uh, the AFP news agency just reporting in the last few minutes uh, and uh, referring to local media that does, does say that some passengers are believed to be still inside the aircraft but uh, saying that uh, those emergency workers are currently helping them and that would fit with uh, certainly what we are seeing on the screens but uh, we wait for that to be confirmed but that is what the AFP news agency is reporting. Just a quick final word before we move on uh, about the conditions around the time of the landing itself. Well, uh, at the moment, it's the, the, there are heavy rains in Istanbul and some gust winds, uh, and the Met Office, uh, Turkish Met Office, have been warning that the conditions will get worse as of today. And while at the time, uh, some aviation experts they they say it was when the winds were changing their directions, and it was quite risky in terms of uh, of aviation and flying at the moment. Well, Irem, I know uh, you're going to remain with us uh, for the duration of, of our programme because uh, as we've seen from the pictures, as we've seen from the various agencies and the authorities reporting, the details are changing all of the time. But uh, worth before we leave these pictures, just uh, summarising where we are at the moment because 171 passengers uh, reported to be on board, six crew, uh, no reports of fatalities, but the latest we're hearing that 52 people have been injured and taken to hospital. There are some reports that uh, there are more people on board and uh, those emergency crews trying to get to them. But uh, those are some of the latest details on this breaking story. We'll keep an eye on that and return to that in a short while. So as promised, let's return to that breaking news in Turkey. Uh, you can see some of the pictures uh, over my shoulder. That uh, passenger plane that has uh, skidded on the runway ended up uh, hitting the perimeter wall and that uh, the middle section of that passenger plane and uh, we've seen pictures and we'll show you again in a second or two the flipped um, cockpit and there's a different uh, angle as well another uh, set of pictures coming into us uh, at floor level and uh, just the whole of the front of the plane you can see uh, and there it is look uh, that's uh, a very very good angle to see the middle section of that plane there and uh, the cockpit right round to uh, the right hand side and uh, we can see there it is uh, the tight shot of the cockpit and there were reports in the last little while on the AFP news agency that uh, perhaps there were still passengers or crew on board and those emergency services that were trying to reach them. We still wait for confirmation of that but a little earlier we had heard that uh, there'd been a big jump in the number of casualties taken to hospital and Iram Koka, our correspondent from the Turkish services, uh, still here with me. Uh, and, and that, uh, the latest, isn't it, in excess of 50 people have been taken to hospital. Yes, that is correct. That's, that is the latest official figure given by the governor of Istanbul about half an hour ago. And he, the governor also emphasized that the rescue works are still underway and they're searching for survivors and potential casualties right, as we speak. Uh, as, as you mentioned, the, it seems like uh, the, 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 the aircraft divided into three after it landed on Istanbul Sobya Gökçen Airport, uh, which is the second largest airport in Istanbul. And the, the, the plane was coming from Izmir, the third largest city in Turkey, to Istanbul and it landed. After that, it skid off uh, and it started going down the hill and hit the uh, perimeter wall of the airport. And apparently the real damage, the, 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 the most serious damage, uh, seems to be in the front part of the aircraft. And the initial images, the initial footage, uh, showed that the passengers, some of the passengers were able to leave the aircraft on foot. They were obviously shaken, but they were mostly from the uh, middle and the uh, back sections of the plane. And just for anyone joining us uh, now, just to describe what that picture is, on the screen to the left where you see the seats that is the middle section of the plane and, and that uh, and that bit to the right was uh, the cockpit uh, that has uh, just been uh, bent right round and has uh, flipped over so uh, it gives you just uh, an inkling in terms of the force there as that plane 
has hit the perimeter wall. And just remind me, in terms of the plane itself, uh, what this plane was, where it was flying from, uh, those sorts of details. Sure. Uh, the plane is, uh, now we know it's a Boeing 737, operated by uh, a low-cost airliner called Pegasus. Uh, it pretty much flies the major destinations within Turkey as well as uh, some major cities in Europe as well. And it was flying from Izmir to Istanbul uh, with uh, 177 people on board, including six crew members. And the accident happened. The, 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 uh, the airline company it also confirmed uh, it, it hit the perimeter wall after landing, but did not give uh, any number or any details on the casualties. They just said the rescue works are still underway. And <clears throat> if we just talk about uh, the, the, the airport itself, there had been a similar incident a month ago or so, and uh, there had been some expansion plans uh, for the runways to, in, to, to have additional runways. So to lengthen the runways after and that incident include, of last month? Because that was a similar type runway. of thing with a, a plane overshooting the runway, wasn't it? Yes, that is correct, but it didn't, there were no casualties, there was not ma much damage as we see it at the moment. And uh, also the, the, the weather conditions apparently doesn't seem they're not they don't seem uh, quite uh, positive at the moment. It's uh, and you just saw there as the uh, shot just arced its way round, uh, just a bit more of the foam that was being uh, put onto mm -hmm. uh, the plane itself. There were reports initially of a fire on board that was uh, uh, quickly extinguished and you can see really from uh, just uh, the ease that uh, those emergency services uh, uh, there's not a sort of frenetic activity that uh, any fears of uh, a fire seem to have been extinguished so uh, that uh, very much around the time where there was the initial impact but uh, you can see from the wreckage itself uh, as we just uh, will take you to a different uh, shot there it is uh, we can see uh, the, the major concentration exactly as uh, Arim was saying on the front part of the plane where uh, the cockpit and the middle section of the plane uh, have become uh, just completely separated and you can see just there to the left uh, the passenger seats uh, we're coming towards uh, the end of this uh, edition of Global. It is worth, if you are just joining us, uh, me recapping some of the key details here. This the scene at Istanbul's second airport. This the wreckage of a passenger plane that was flying internally uh, and uh, from Izmir, uh, landing there at uh, Istanbul, coming to the end of its flight with uh, 171 passengers on board, six crew, and it is overshot the runway and ended up hitting the perimeter wall and breaking into three. So the tail section has become separated and this is the front section, the middle section there to the left, the cockpit to the right. Uh, the latest reports say that 52 people have been injured, they have been taken to hospital. The authorities are all pretty much saying the same thing, that this was a strong landing, a rough landing, but uh, a lot of people ending up in hospitals so far no fatalities though being reported uh, so that the latest detail those the latest pictures from istanbul i'm back in half an hour we'll bring you more on that and the rest of the headlines thanks for watching so far a passenger plane overshoots a runway in istanbul and breaks apart more than 50 people are injured. A recovery operation remains underway. The cause of the crash is unknown. The airport, Istanbul's second largest, remains closed. These are the live pictures. We'll have the latest on this breaking story. Welcome to the programme and let's begin in Turkey with that breaking news that a plane has crashed at an airport in Istanbul after overshooting the runway. These the latest live pictures from the scene and uh, just as we were looking last time uh, that operation still underway. It is uh, unclear if uh, there are any more passengers or crew on board that wreckage uh, but uh, that wreckage has come uh, to a standstill there on the perimeter fence. It hit the wall, broke into three. The tail section has broken off 
and that that you're seeing there in the middle of the screen is uh, the middle section and to the right is the cockpit that is uh, spun round and uh, turned upside down and actually as the shot moves to a different picture you get uh, a really clear image of uh, the right there is the cockpit and uh, there you see completely sheared from the middle section of the plane. Uh, our correspondent is uh, still here with us uh, monitoring uh, everything that we are seeing from this uh, airport in Istanbul and uh, what are you hearing? What is the latest? Uh, the latest is the, 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 the rescue works are still underway and 52 uh, of the 177 uh, people on board are injured and they are hospitalized and the, uh, the, the operator of the aircraft, Pegasus Airline, which is a, which is a low cost air, airliner, uh, they also confirmed the rescue efforts are still underway to, uh, to rescue all passengers who were on board. And uh, there are some unconfirmed reports in the Turkish media that two pilots of the aircraft are uh, injured seriously and they are hospitalized and, and they are taken on for, tre for treatment. And uh, this is so far the latest. And also uh, another thing to mention, five police officers who were rushed to the scene uh, were injured in a car accident inside the airport. And uh, there uh, we see uh, the way that the tail section has broken off. And uh, as you can see from the logo, uh, Pegasus Airlines, uh, that is a local carrier, isn't it, inside Turkey? And tell us more about the plane itself. Uh, it's, 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 it's all, it flies to destinations inside Turkey as well as some major destinations in Europe as well. It's a low-cost airliner and it's, it's, uh, it's mostly using this uh, second airport in Istanbul, Sabiha Gökçen Airport. And this is the second largest airport in Istanbul. And pretty much a month ago or so, we had a similar incident, again in the same uh, airport, with the same airliner, uh, another plane, uh, offshoot the, uh, the, uh, the runway during landing, and we didn't have any casualties or any fatalities in that incident as well. But it's also important to note that it seems like, at, at least what, this is what the aviation experts are telling us, uh, it seems like the weather conditions uh, may have played a key role in this accident as it is quite uh, rainy and there are some gusty winds in Istanbul. And right before this incident happened, uh, some suggest that the wind started to change direction. So there were cont contradicting winds uh, up in the... Uh, air and also in the ground. So this may have uh, played uh, a role in the incident, but the investigation is underway and we will uh, we, we are likely to know more in the coming hours or so. Well, Irem Kuka from the Turkish service, thanks very much. Oh, you know you're going to stay with us because we've been juggling two major stories out of Turkey uh, on the program uh, and I know we're going to come back and talk about the other one here in just a moment. But let's uh, continue uh, looking at this uh, plane crash. Uh, let's talk to the aviation and travel commentator Sally Gethin. And uh, Sally, uh, what are the, uh, your headline thoughts as we continue to see the live pictures from Istanbul? Yeah, they are very dramatic pictures, but having said that, uh, they bear witness to uh, the survivability of this particular airframe in this incident. And on the positive side, it shows that airframes are now uh, in, being designed with increasing resilience for that survivability in the worst case scenario. So thankfully, uh, there was uh, a complete survivability in this incident and the plane has uh, managed to uh, come out of it, uh, albeit uh, written off. We call it a jet hull loss when it's been written off, but still um, it, it has preserved life on board. And as yet, I mean, absolutely no indications as to possible causes here. We do know it's a pretty new, pretty modern aircraft, I think, built in 2009. Yes, yeah, so... Um, this aircraft type is, uh, is, is a modern aircraft. It's uh, the next generation, uh, the predecessor to the Boeing 737 MAX. And actually, uh, it, it is extremely modern and new. And also, Pegasus Airlines uh, has a very 
strong brand. It's a low fare airline that brands itself as uh, an all new digital airline, um, gearing up for the highest safety standards, is a member of the industry body. Uh, IATA, so uh, it focuses on safety. Something has happened here. Either something was happening in flight or on final approach that um, preempted uh, this uh, catastrophic landing, or it is possible that weather was so adverse and so unpredictable that the pilot struggled to keep control of the actual aircraft. Uh, we don't know. It's too early to speculate, but it could be some issues with the pilot's control of the aircraft, uh, whether that is, uh, a, you know, a, a pilot error or it's to do with him struggling with the actual uh, navigation and the uh, flight controls and the avionics itself. Uh, having said that, it could be a combination of all three, so very adverse weather, some incident, possibly some failure to do with the airframe itself, which um, has actually that particular airframe type, uh, doesn't have an unblemished safety record prior to this. So it could be multiple factors, we just don't know at this stage. A brief final thought, Sally, because another blow for Boeing. It's one of their aircrafts. Uh, they've been in the headlines for so many different uh, stories, uh, so that's a blow for them. It, it is, uh, we'll get details uh, from the black boxes, I'm sure, which will be recovered, so we'll, we'll know the exact uh, the, the nature of what has caused this. But it, it is overshot by a long way if it has ended up hitting the perimeter wall. Yes, I mean, this just isn't your everyday occurrence. And like I said, this airline uh, is, is, has a strong um, safety record and has uh, this modern fleet. Uh, Boeing, as we all know, is under huge scrutiny at the moment. Uh, the 737-800, like I said, has got some issues. Uh, one of them is called like a pickle fork type of um, structural problem. And so uh, the authorities globally and in the United States, the aviation regulators, are analysing Boeing and they're looking at all aircraft types, not just the MAX that was behind the disastrous Ethiopian Airlines crash last year, but all aircraft types to see how they were certified and what needs to be improved and what has happened to make things go wrong internally for the MAX to get to that point, but also looking at all all the other aircraft types that Boeing produces. Sally Gethin, thanks so much for joining us. Uh, we're seeing on those live pictures uh, a uh, news briefing, so uh, we'll get some of the latest lines uh, from officials there in Istanbul in the next little while. But uh, those are the latest details uh, from that plane crash in Istanbul.